Hey, welcome back to Triple R. Today we're going to take a look at the Star Wars Force Awakens Millennium Falcon. I know it says Force Awakens, but hey, it's Millennium Falcon. It was $9.99, marked down from $15.99. Looks like it's pretty decent size. And in front of the window, it looks like it's going to look okay. So that's why I got it. Uh, the art on the box is pretty cool. It has the TIE Fighters on there and the Falcon itself. Well, most of the art on the left-hand side. So it has, says, some assembly required. Uh, luckily, it's not a big deal. It's very, very minimal. It's like the best assembly required I've ever experienced, I think. So we'll open it up here, see how it looks outside the box. That's not a great sense of scale in that picture because <laughs> he's pushing the forward, so it looks a little bit bigger than it's going to be. But still a good size, bigger than like a Hot Wheels or a Matchbox version of a Millennium Falcon, which I think will look good on the shelf. So that's kind of why I got it. Plus, Millennium Falcon. I was like, ah, I could use one of those in my collection. You know, and I don't want to spend $100 on a, a big one. It's going to take a bunch of room and be $100. So, open it up. I was already impressed. Had the details on top. Um, don't know if there was much to put together. So, it wasn't like fastened down at all either. Which is fine because that can be a, a pain. So, it was secure enough. Looks like it's just two molding pieces. Uh, top and bottom and here is the assembly you have to do <laughs> so he's got to put that on top of the Millennium Falcon and I'll show you right there and of course there's a big hole that you can see kind of glaring at you like this is, needs to be uh, <laughs> fixed or assembled now I don't know maybe you just tested enough boxes and too many broke and like well we'll just let them assemble it so very easy pop that open gonna stick it in there it's going to snap in. It's one of the snap ins, like where it kind of expands, as you can see. So once it's in there, it's pretty in there for good. Pop it in. You're done with the assembly. I like that a lot. And I like how this looks. There's no decals to mess with. You can pop it open. It's good to go. Uh, the cockpit, it's not glass, it's just a blacked out paint. But still, it gets the job done, I think. Especially for 10 bucks. Uh, I think 16 bucks is too much for this. Uh, it's very lightweight, there's no weight to it at all. So maybe that's a good thing. I don't know if you like, if you want people to hang it up with like fishing wire or whatever people do. So I'm just gonna go on the shelf for me. And being a nice off-white has the, the details in there, which I like a lot. It's very cool. So just being like a flat white or something like that. I think they did a good job, even though Sports Awakens. William Falcon, one of my favorites because it's iconic. Uh, my favorite spaceships in Star Wars are um, the TIE Fighter, Falcon. I do like the X-Wing fighter. Never cared for any of the other Rebel Alliance ships. I mean, I don't like the B-Wing. It's pretty dumb looking. Don't like the Y-Wing. Don't care for the A-Wing. Uh, what else do they have? I guess they have their freighters, but that's garbage. Empire has some cooler ships. They have the, the TIE fighter, like I said, the bomber, and the, the interceptors. So those are pretty cool variations of the TIE fighter. And Invader's TIE fighter as well. All right, kind of want to see what it looks like on a black background. So I'm going to move the white background out, put it on my table here. So I had to wipe off my table. That's why it looks like that. So it's a little dusty. So I want to see what the all-white looked against the black background. I think it looks really good. It's going to be on a black shelf, I think, in my display. So if you have a display like that, you can see a little, a little better what it's going to look like. This is a cool Millennium Falcon for 10 bucks. I am very happy with this purchase. If you're a Star Wars fan, Falcon fan digger versus a Hot Wheels, so there's a size difference. So you pick them up, 10 bucks. I think it's a good good deal. Just ignore it's Force Awakens, you know, it's, it's saga. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. 